I got to play George Clooney in my Spanish class several times, and I'm still in disbelief. So I am currently taking what is likely the last Spanish class I will ever take. I have my final in the class this week, and if all goes well, I'll be done. And it's been a heck of a ride. But I must say, this is a little bittersweet for me. I mean, I'm glad I'll be finished with Spanish. The homework is repetitive and the tests are annoying. But I've had my fair share of fun times in these classes as well. Like Spanish dance quizzes, for instance. Somehow multiple teachers of mine have required this as part of the curriculum of their classes. And I've aced every one, of course. I mean, I can really get my hips to work with me. In this semester, we've had a number of oral dialogues and skits we've had to perform in the class, obviously in Spanish. And they've been really fun, for one particular reason. I've played George Clooney in every single one. This all started with the first skit, in which we were supposed to be interviewing a famous person. My partner for the skit suggested, just off the top of his head, Uh, why don't you be George Clooney? And I agreed. And thus... A legend was born. I performed the scene totally straight. I just memorized my lines and recited them normally, because George Clooney isn't really an extravagant personality. I mean, I pretty much just said, Yo soy George Clooney. Translation, I am George Clooney. But people seemed to like it. There were a surprising number of laughs. Eventually, when it came time for our next skit, we switched partners, and my new partner said, You have to be Clooney again, that was great. And I was kind of surprised. I mean, really, that was memorable? but I said okay. And we did the skit about George Clooney flying to Spain to shoot a new film. And it was a hit. As soon as people heard I was George again, there were laughs aplenty. Later, one of my friends who's not even in my Spanish class said to me, so I heard you do a pretty great George Clooney impression. And I said, no, I literally just said that I was George Clooney in my normal voice in these skits in my Spanish class. And I guess because I had my lines memorized and I kept saying I was Clooney, people thought I was doing a spot-on Clooney impersonation. But the streak continued, and each time I was paired with a new partner, it was decided that I would be George Clooney. Correction, it was more assumed than decided. Expected, if you will. At a certain point, I decided to just embrace it and completely overdo the famous movie star persona. We did skits where I was complaining about being too famous, interviews where I revealed details about my newest movies, and even an epic recreation of my courtship of my current wife. My classmates started referring to me as George whenever I came into class, and even when they saw me outside of class, they would say, Hola, George. Even my professor started saying Senor Clooney whenever she called on me in class. Ah, Senor Clooney. Yes. One time she tried to say my real name and completely froze. She had to apologize and explain that she had forgotten it because she was so used to saying Senor Clooney. Yes, that's right. My own professor literally forgot my real name name three quarters of the way through the semester in a class of like 25 people. That's what you call getting too deep into a role. But I was okay with this. I mean, I'll admit that it was immaturely fun to be basically a celebrity in my class. This past week, we had our last oral performance in the class, and it was a doozy. I was grouped with three other guys, and we quickly decided that we would do a game show for our performance. I said that I'd be happy to be the host. Then I asked nonchalantly, so if I'm the host, Will I be George Clooney? And everyone in my group instantly said, Oh yeah, definitely. Then we decided to make all the contestants on the game show members of the Ocean's Eleven cast. So we brought on Brad Pitt, Matt Damon, and Julia Roberts. And we created this dramatic romantic history between Julia, played by a man here, and George, myself. And the scene ended with me bursting into tears. It was emotional, heartfelt, and powerful. We even played with the audience's expectations with our opening. I came out, high-fived the entire audience, including my professor, and introduced the game show, saying that I would be their host, Brad Pitt. As a bewildered and almost angry look came over every face in the class, I said, Ah, no, 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 no. Soy George Clooney, claro. Translation, Ah, no, 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 no. I am George Clooney, of course. And the audience went wild. It was a career-defining performance, and oddly the perfect finale to my years of Spanish study. So I just want to thank Mr. Clooney from the bottom of my heart for all the unexpected joy he's brought to me by unknowingly allowing me to impersonate him in Spanish. What a gem he would be if he, you know, knew what I was doing and somehow approved of it. Anyway, I guess the lesson here is that sometimes weird things happen in life surprises, awkward moments, strange coincidences, but these can lead to great things if you allow yourself to embrace them and live them out to their fullest extent. So don't hold back. Also, it is apparently very easy to do an amazing George Clooney impression in Spanish. Who knew? Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go dye my hair silver and secretly replace George Clooney on the set of Ocean's 14 in order to secure my place as a true Hollywood talent and a rising star. Hasta luego. I mean, I'll catch you later.